Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the Mathematics CSNAT 2020. Today we will discuss about the statistics question which was asked in this paper. So we will discuss all those uh, 10 questions are there and after that we will discuss some more questions related to them. So let's say question number 1 which is of the 3 marks and the 3 by 4.75 is the negative marking of this. So you want to find the probability if this one. So what is the meaning of this if one is that that means it is a conditional probability. Whenever there is a conditional probability is there you have always apply the Bayes theorem. So what is that? So what is that target is that you have to find the probability that student gets the answer. Condition is that your answer is correctness. So that's the meaning of this question is there. So it means whether now if you read the first line there is a multiple choice question a student work out of the solution. It means there are the two possibilities are there. One is either the student work on the problem or the student can guess the problem. What is the probability that if this is the correct answer, if he guess what is the correct answer? If it is the workout then what is the correct answer? Now look at the probabilities that's the over of this answer. So 50% is probability that it will be it will be workout. It means 50% it will be of the guess. Why? Because the sum of them will be 1. What is the probability that if he what is the point 3 is if he guess the answer the probability of the correctness is my point 3 0. If point 1 0 is the probability of the wrong answer. So what is the correct answer probability is point 1 0. So now the rest part is very simple. Now you can simply multiply this this into this this into this. So it will be my here. So the total is my 1.20. So now what is what is your target is to guess that is for here. So the corresponding probability is my this this divided by here that is the required answer of this problem. So what is that this is 1 by 4. So what is the right answer is you can see within a couple of minutes you can easily get the 3 marks with this simple diagram tricks are there. Look at the another one is there. So x is a uniform distribution. So what is the what is the PDF of the uniform distribution is 1 upon 100. All of you know that if for the con uh, for the uniform distribution what is the PDF is 1 upon b minus a. Now all of you have to calculate the expected value and so on. What is the expected value of the uniform distribution is a plus b upon 2. So now what is the you have to calculate the expected value of the y. What is the y? y is nothing but my greatest integers of the variable x. Now if you look about that what is the meaning of the x less than 25 for what value of the if, if you uh, act y is less than so it means the greatest integer is less than 25. So what is the answer of this? Clearly see that x lies between the here because if it is 25.999 then the greatest integer is again the 25. So it means the interval is my now here. What is the probability of this? Now you can write this as of 25. What is the meaning of that? So y is my 0 to 24, uh, 26. So this is nothing but my CDF. I can write this as CDF of 25. What is the CDF of 25 is x minus a or you can simply write this as integration from 0 to 26 1 by PDF of dx. What is that? This is 26 by 100 is the right answer. So this is there. Is there any other option as correct? What is the expected value of y? So since y is my here this is my y 0 to 26. So what is the mean is 0 plus 26 by 2. So none of the option is correct. So the right answer is my only B. Also there is only the one correct option are there. So that's all you find that. Now you can see there is again a three marks. There is only one correct option are there. So what is the limiting distribution? So I always tell you so many times whenever there is a limiting distribution you have to apply the center limit theorem. So whenever there is a center limit theorem which one is follows that? It follows the normal standard normal distribution. So what is the right answer is here. There is no need of that. But here there is they are, they are not asking about the A but if in some exa other examination they will send you they will standard normal distribution for what value of A. How you can find that? Now you can see x i follows the chi square distribution with the degree of freedom 5. So what is the mean of this x i? You know uh, if the chi square distribution with the n degree of freedom then the mean is my n variance will be my 2n. So from here you can find that mean is x5, variance is my 10. So you can find this value. So what is that? This is xi. What is the mean of this xi? Can you find that if they are the iid? 
so each one has a mean 5 so how many there are n so the mean is my 5n can you find the variance of this exercise they are iad also so it will be my 10 of n so therefore what is that this is minus the mean of this that is a 5n divided by square root of here now if you compare them what is the value of the a so a is nothing but my 1 by root 10 that's a finite value so this is my here but in this question they are only asking about the distribution so whenever there is a limiting distribution means as n approaches infinity always this is always goes to the standard normal distribution so that's why right answer is c look at here this is the sufficient complete and so on so how you can get the you know which one will work on the sufficient minimal and the complete that is nothing but my Newman principle Pearson principle what you can do is you can start with the value of the L likelihood function if you are able to write this in the form of here this is the h of x that is a multiply sign what is the meaning of that you have to find the two function one is independent of theta and second one is this small t is with respect to xi and another one is dependent on the x and theta then we can say that capital T is the sufficient minimal and the complete all so look at that if we start from the L that is the product of here log of this of this divided by here now since we are working over the i so i is here so what is that this is log of n this minus n and here is my so can you find the two values of the h what is the h is a function which is totally dependent on the x so this is dependent upon the both so it means i if i multiply this by one so this is my h of x and the others are my g of here so what which one is the parameter dependent upon the x i's here and you can see this is nothing but my capital T so once it means by the Newman principle uh, Newman Pearson lemma this this one is a complete this one is a sufficient this one is a minimal all are there so which one is the option is sufficient but not complete cancel sufficient but not minimal cancel neither sufficient cancel complete sufficient is the right answer of this look at the another one is there that's a 4.75 that's a question related to the part C and it's of the zero negative marking so what is given to you e of xi are given to you e of xi square is given to you so can you find the variance of the xi's this is ex square minus of this this here so it means they are the iadr there expected values of xi into xj is my rho now you can see if rho is zero they are independent that is not true because if you consider as the relation of this like 0 minus 1 and 1 these are the values of the x then what is the value of y if you compute the value of the x y you can see it's a 0 but they are not independent so the first option is cancelled variance is n so if, if I compute the variance of the x i's summation of the x i what is that this is variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus 2 times the covariance of the x1 x2 plus 2 times the covariance of x1 x3 plus so on plus 2 times the covariance of x1 x2 x3 and so on but here they are independent so they are the, the it is n if and only but they are not uh, mutually or this so it means this value is not be 0 why because if it is independent what is the meaning of that this is x1 x2 is nothing but my here but this is not be 2 so that option is also cancel out p another option is variance of this if and only if are the pairwise that's not again true because if it is a pairwise then this value is a non-zero so it means this option is also cancel out it means this is our right answer so if, how you can prove that what is that that this is nothing but my variance of the x size if and only if rho is zero if this value is zero what is the value of rho is zero what is the value of the covariance of x i x j what is the value of the covariance is e x i minus e x e j so you can say if this value is the rho if it is zero x i and x j are also zero so the covariance are zero so once covariance are zero all are here so what is that this is nothing but variance of the x n variance of the x1 is 1 1 1 up to the n so right answer is my here 
look at the another one this is related to the will causes and again of the three marks negative marking is there so you have to find what is the uh, you have to find the expected value of the will causes and so what is the expected value of the will causes that is nothing but my here so make sure that this n is related to what you want to find you want to find the value of the x so this is the number of the x what is the n is that is the total number so if you substitute what is the number of the x are there 15 what is the total numbers are there 15 plus 25 is a 35 so it's a 36 divided by 2 so that is a 15 into 18 so 072 270, 270 is the right answer if they are asking about the uh, will constant test for the y then n will be my 20 look at the another one is there which one of the following is the consistent so what is the definition of the consistent so when you say that t is the uh, consistent of the gamma so when expected value of t t will converges to the gamma and the variance of t will converges to the zero that's the condition of that so uh, we will look about the options are there if we it means if if we calculate the expected value of this so firstly we will try to calculate the here what is that this is x of here this start from the limits 1 to infinity what is that 1x will be cancel out so it will be minus theta plus 1 upon minus of theta plus 1 limits from 1 to infinity is infinity is 0 and is from minus theta upon here now you can see that theta is greater than now it cannot be equal to which it cannot be equal to that theta so it means this option is cancel out if this is cancel out this is also cancel out now these two options will be there now you can see log of x so you, if you integrate the if you find the expected value of the log x what is that this is log of x theta upon x raised to power here so we will integrate with over the x so theta is constant which is outside so log of x upon x 1 upon here now if i just take log of x as my y what is happen 1 by x dx is dy so if you substitute here what is well what will happen is this is a y 1 upon x dx is my dy this is x is my e raised to power minus y so this is e raised to power here this is when log 1 so what is that you know what is the integration of this 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 is the gamma function so i can write this as a 2 minus 1 so what is that this is the gamma function of 2 upon theta square remember xn minus 1 e raised to power minus nx from 0 to infinity it will be gamma function of n upon sorry if i call as a then it will be a raised to power n so what is the gamma function of 2 is a 1 so 1 theta will be cancel out so it will be 1 by theta so what is that now it looks like so so i can write this expression summation of the x i upon n will goes to here but we need a theta is there so what is the meaning of that i can take the reciprocal of this this will goes to the theta so right answer is my here instead of this because this value goes to the 1 by theta look at the another question is there so this is here that's again very simple you have to start from the z now look at the first option this is a greater than sign whenever there is a greater than or inequality is there you have to apply the chebyshev inequality this is the expected value this are so so what is the chebyshev inequality is there so if you working on the z so this now i want a greater than of the k it will be less variance of this upon k square now let me firstly calculate the mean of the z z is my here the mean is, they are independent so mean of the x and y are zero so the mean of this is zero what is the variance of z again they are independent variance of x1 plus variance of x2 they are my 2 so if you substitute here this is zero k as epsilon it's a less than so that's is my two statement how you can find the e of so now once you have the variance of this is 2 so i can write this also as the e of z square minus of e of z whole square so this value is my 0 because e of z is my 0 so what is that variance of the z square is there so this is also the correct statement look at this value now you have to start from here now what you can do that i can write this expression as of this all of you know that so what is that expected value of this is my here now all of you know that you can if if you consider f which is my convex how you can check that convex if second derivative is greater than 
then expected value of the function is greater than or equal to function of the expected value so if i just consider as of the root x so what is the if i consider this as my f what is the second derivative of this the first derivative is my here the second derivative is my negative you can see that it's my negative are there so it is a less than zero so it's a concave function so what is the meaning of that if i apply the expected value of this it will instead of the greater than it will be less than of expected value of here now this i need as a z square so i can replace x to be the z square so this value must be less than of square root of e of z square what is the e of z square we already compute 2 so mod of this is less than 2 so this is also the correct option now look at that this so this is the probability so once you are talking about the probability which distribution is there so they are not talking about the distribution so they are some unknown distributions are there so that's why you can't say that it's always be greater than and less than are there remember if there's some distribution is given to you then you can say but otherwise not be so the right answers are my a b and c are there look at the last questions are there so if you have some distribution they are here so do i think do uh, you easily remember that this is nothing but my bernoulli distribution b so what is the probability if x is 0 what will happen this is nothing but my here if x is 1 this will be here now you can find the method of the movement b so can you calculate the mean of this what is that mean is nothing but my x into p that is nothing but my theta so mean i can return as x upon n is theta but here you can see the method of this is the 2n so this option is cancelled out this is the method of movement is minimum of this but it is not the minimum so this option also cancelled out now you have to find the MLE what is the MLE is you have to find this value of here 1 minus x now I can take as the logarithm for the calculation simplify so what is that this is nothing but my log of theta x plus of log of 1 minus theta of 1 minus x over the summation part so i can write this as of x log of theta is outside summation of xi plus log of 1 minus outside and summation of 1 minus xi now we can take the partial derivative with respect to theta what will happen xi upon this plus minus upon here 1 minus xi is 0 so can you find the value of theta from here I think you can easily do that so what is that this is minus minus plus upon 1 minus which is n upon here so what is that this is this is common so it will be 1 upon here since theta is uh, theta lies between 0 1 so that will be cancelled out so what is the value of theta is there that is sum upon n so what is that MLE of this is also cancelled now since theta maximum value of is half so it means this is the only right answer of this problem. So this is the way you can solve all these uh, statistic question and you can see that how many marks you can get easily within a fraction of second 4.75, 4.75 4 and so on. We will see some more question of this gate 2020 examination in our next video. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various one. Thank you very much.